gonna get, get, yeah. gonna curdle the I, mood I, here. I am out of dairy buns immediately. I didn't have much money. I, so. I, I'm, I'm dairy sorry for you. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone, joined every week by the man up north. One Jordan Swang, he's full of Canadian tire money. Maybe digital. I'm full, I'm full, I'm full of spaces, man. Like, I've, I've been hooked on that Google Docs racing and how I can't stop. I'm just a <laughs> giant empty document. And from the Isles of Britannia, staying up late past his bedtime, a man who needs no introduction. Mostly because I don't remember my name anymore. And okay, together with you, you shout real dynamic, <laughs> how about his form? The wrong goddamn thing. There we go. Cocaine the bolts. steam! <laughs> Ten years, ten years, and we still can't I, fucking get. I legitimately got sidetracked because I was looking at the peeled horse picture again. Ah, yeah, the, the deflated, <laughs> molted horse. Well, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get we'll get to that in a minute. Usually, we, this is the part of the podcast where we talk about what we did during the week. What, Dude, what, what'd you do, Ben? I got the sads, man. I got the sads. Uh, Valkyrie um, Elysium Netta doesn't work yet. Proton. It's not, not, nothing to do with Disco Elysium, right? Like they're completely different, completely different series. As- Asylum, Elysium, isn't it? It's Elysium, isn't it? D- Disco Elysium, yeah, yeah, and Valkyrie yeah. Elysium. It's uh, yeah, I think it's Valkyrie Elysium. It's the newest yeah. Valkyrie series game. Yes, <laughs> it's no, the nothing, one that's pissing off Elysium. all of the um, Valkyrie nerds. And uh, it, uh, again, I was we were talking at the pre-show. I'll go ahead and give you a sample of that. Google, <laughs> every now and then, Google gets you because you're scrolling through, and I do that especially for news. I hit Google News and I scroll past the first thing because it's always like, "Here's politics, get angry." I'm like, "Fuck off." And um, I'm scrolling. It's like, are you upset that Bayonetta three stuck on the Switch? Try that. I'm like, God damn it. Fine. <laughs> yes, yes, Google. You know me. You, I see you. And uh, it was saying, Hey, go play the uh, Valkyrie. I'm like, uh, Can I? It's like, oh, fuck. oh, it's stuck on the PlayStation. Eat a dick, Google. And I was like, Wait a minute. It's coming to PC. Hmm. So I've been watching it. <laughs> and uh, it came out today or yesterday, I think. Maybe yesterday. And well, I think all the what did you say? Page of the movies. The cutscenes, yeah. Cutscenes, they don't work. Um, they're not called movies anymore. Uh, <laughs> they're goies. rendered in the game engine, technically. Motion yeah. pictures. Uh, they're to- these talkies that ship with these video graphic games. There's kind of an important one, though, that is one of those movies. Uh, it's the tutorial bits to teach you how to play it. So I'm going to hold off. I got a little bit of patience. Also, I found an interesting way to soft brick a camera. Is, does it involve Jello? No, it really sucks because I got a really cool um, mirrorless digital camera that is going to make a fucking amazing um, camera for live streaming mm. or recording just in general. We're talking full 1080p, no problems whatsoever. It uses, it's got a ton of lenses, you know, it's interchangeable lenses. It's been on the market a long time. But the way to turn it into that, because it's one of those things where the company's like, we're going to put a software lock on that feature because we get the version up that you should fucking buy. So you can't get clean HDMI out. So I got to go through this. Like I, I'm doing this guide on it of like, and it comes down like, and yes, and this is the part where we install Telnet on the camera to uh, oh. <laughs> rewrite oh, these bits fun. in firmware. Right. Surprisingly, this is wicked simple to do though. Um, I'm going to have you in and out in like well under five minutes on this. However, the hacking tool to do this, because it's running Android and there's a way to get a shell to it. Mm. To just do this in a one-liner instead of like, okay, this is how you do this. This is how you force load an APK with Telnet and get busy box mm. on the camera. No, no, no. You can one-line it. But you get to know, to power the camera down in a very, very particular sequence, unplug it, repower, replug. Then it will DFU come out mode. of service mode, <laughs> mm. which it, it just will completely act like it's bricked and it's lobotomized and I, there's no way I'm putting that in the video because I don't want to deal with the um people go, you broke my camera. <laughs> yeah. You use at your own risk. Ja- I it was my own risk and now it's your fault because it's broken. So uh yeah to avoid that we're installing Telnet kids. Stay tuned. That'll be up maybe by the end of next week. Uh, it, it's a it's it's a great thing. Um I'm gonna dump that up for patrons because these things are cheap. Like these things are laughably fucking cheap for what they are. We're talking a comparable camera for this. It's like 650, 700 bucks. You can get these things all day long for like 175. That's pretty good. Yeah. All, all you got to do is install Telnet though. That's, I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> hey, 
How about this? I'll give you a GUI application that runs on Linux to do it. Ooh. You click a button. You think you can swing that? No, because it might uninstall X. I watched that Linux Tactics video, and I've learned never to click No, 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 we're Linux. not installing fonts. Okay. <laughs> we're installing <laughs> APKs. <laughs> yes, I am sure. <laughs> How about you, Jordan? Uh, you've, you've played Pokemon. You, yeah. you, you bought... Did you do all that in one day? You bought the hot sauce yeah. and played Pokemon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they, they they have the events where you just like go out and catch a bunch of like one specific Pokemon. Uh, and yeah, so I, I went to a mall. I walked around, ate at a food court. Um, that was very, very, very exciting. I'm describing the early morning of like your average 70 year old. No, but uh, <laughs> uh, wandering around, just like looking at the shops there, I noticed that the mall had like a, a hot sauce shop. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let's let's go check out the the fancy hot sauce shop. And they had like racks of them, so I I picked the that moral of the story. I I now bought a twenty one dollar hot so- bottle of hot sauce that I don't know what it tastes like yet. Well, I like that the hot sauce shop had something that was aligned to like your palate. You're like, this pairs well with. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it it's it's nice. They're not going to give you free samples. I don't, especially of like the fucking murder hot sauce. Yeah, that that that'll be fun. Just everyone outside going like ah. I just imagine being at a restaurant. Like, can I get your list of hot sauce? Expecting like a good laugh, and the motherfucker shows back up with the one. I'm like, God damn it! All right. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that, that's that's when you know the place is legit, right? Like, right? Uh, can I see the hot sauce list? And they're like, Why, yes, mm. yes, you can. And they're they're ready for that too. <laughs> How about you, terribly mysterious, um, non-introduced stranger? Yes, I, I've actually been playing a lot with the <laughs> old laptops that I have. Because Arthur in, in Discord mentioned uh, Hans de Goad, uh is looking for people testing a couple of ACPI options, especially relating to backlighting on old laptops, uh, because that's being changed in kernel 6.1. Mm. So if you have an old laptop and you add ACPI underscore backlight equals video to your kernel line in Grub, don't forget to uh, update Grub. I forgot to do that the first time. <laughs> That's on me. Update uh, dash Grub? Yeah. Or do I do make I N I T R D? You can do like that, or you can do the Fedora way, which I don't remember. MK config and then. Gr- yeah, the gr- Grub make config and then you redirect it to at, yep. uh, just a slash boot grub.cfg. See, I try to make myself use update grub, but I have the other one memorized from the old times and it feels fancier doing that in the terminal. Uh, oh, man. It's, it, that's that's me and parted, right? Like, I, I know I should like learn how to use parted, but I just keep going back to fdisk because that's the thing I know. Yeah. Fdisk, yeah. And or G parted. Because and it looks cooler to the goody. imaginary person that's watching me <laughs> hack on my box. Yeah, yeah. Uh, abso- absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, after you add that line uh, and you reboot, you're supposed to see ACPI uh, backlight as one of the options that gets listed in the uh, sys class backlight uh, directory. So and what, what, there, what is that? What is this ultimately for, though? Like, what what, uh, what, what, is, what is it planning to do? That backlight control is still working on older laptops that have that issue where ACPI can't control um, the actual. So, so, backlight. so if you, if you don't want to have like the backlight on all the time, or yes, or d- off all the time, which may d- be d- depending on what, what, whatever yeah. laptop you had. <laughs> now, here's a serious question. I got to think about it because we know um, with monitors back in the day, I still have some and. Uh, before we had LED backlighting, we had compact fluorescent backlighting for LC flat panel displays. You know, there were little CFL tubes back there. Was that the case with the laptops? This is some, some thick ass laptops. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they did have those was old probably one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, don't stab this computer. It's going to get a little spicy. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, we can shove some uh, CFL lights into the horse, man. Maybe we'll stand back upright. I mean, there's already it's already covered in RGB. I don't think it can. We can pump any more power into it without creating any more of a fire hazard. It's the steam. Steam OS three point four. It's uh, well, it's in preview right now. Uh, yes, it is in the preview channel. Certain media outlets out there is going in the 
it's in the beta channel. It's like, ooh, I'm, look at you I'm, being all professional and trying not to name names because you don't remember <laughs> which one it was to call them out. <laughs> there were like three on Twitter. I don't remember which ones they were. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. They're, you don't have like pictures of them with like knives through their eyes, just off screen. <laughs> no, oh, I just get have, you. Uh, <laughs> I just have Nick over there. Uh, the uh, no, I just fired up the Steam Deck. It's like, ooh, let's go give it a shout. Oh, no, this isn't. There's no update here, so then I go read the actual article. It's like it's in the preview channel. Dicks getting Why our hopes update. Up. <laughs> what did you see? Yeah, so the new uh, preview comes with basically they updated KDE to 526, and they've introduced the option to disable compositing altogether uh, and allow screen tearing so that you get less input latency. Uh, if you have a HUD level two and you're playing a game that doesn't do the 1280 by 800, only does 169. The HUD level two is now uh, horizontally spaced. It, it fits in the letterbox, which is HUD very level nice. two sounds like you should get a other achievement for it, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the one that shows uh, just like the basic stuff, not just the FPS, but doesn't go into like frame times and everything else. No mm. one is going to want to date you unless you have HUD level three. That's for sure. <laughs> that's the default. Yes. I don't know, man. <laughs> Motherfuckers are walking around with HUD level three. A bit showy for me. <laughs> And uh, trim has been re-enabled because that had uh, been disabled because it was that causing... was disabled for some reason. Well, yes, there, there, uh, there they... were uh, SD cards that apparently advertise yep. as supporting trim, but don't. <laughs> so and oh, the no, moment that, that trim for, tried to run on it, for everyone it's like, the oh, that's a corrupted voice. SD card. Okay. <laughs> Jordan, can I just ask, would you fucking trust... Would you even attempt to run trim on an SD card ever? <laughs> um, Serious. Serious. So, oh, okay. So, okay. So, th they're... This is one of those weird situations where back in when I was working for for Fedora, yes, absolutely, this was the thing we were doing. So, um, and it yeah, is flash I'm, memory, so yeah, it makes I'm, sense. I'm, I'm kind of the wrong person to ask here. Uh, that that said, if I were going to do it today, I'd probably be more confident of it working on like a Samsung or like a SanDisk SD card mm -hmm. than like Fatty Dove or whatever. I don't know what I'm thinking <laughs> about, like remote, especially SD cards. Like, what is it going to make it less slow? <laughs> well, it's 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 just to uh, preserve preserve the life of the SD card over like yeah, right, it basically like, resets the um, as each I pull out my sleeve <laughs> and take another one out <laughs> again. I've 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 had burned out SD cards because I'm that weirdo who was big into ARM computing back in the early aughts or the late or 2010s, whatever. I don't know. I mean, in all fairness, some people there's a yeah. uh, like crazy high end, you know, those SD cards that we've all looked at. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. why is this nine hundred dollars? No, mm -hmm. no, never, never, <laughs> never. Although when you look at those and then you go, oh, no, nothing actually supports uh, UHS three uh, SD cards yet, so including the Steam Deck. But you finally yeah, no. get one and you get to the part of the manual, like we just made that up. Where did you find that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like handwritten in crayon at the back of the. <laughs> But yeah, they also about? fixed the uh, audio defaulting to the echo cancellation sync, which was causing issues with a lot of people, uh, namely if you plugged in headphones, uh, it would, uh, instead of just switching from the speakers, it would switch to the echo cancellation sync, and then you couldn't hear anything, either from the speakers or from your headphones, because it was cocking it up. So that's been fixed, finally. Uh, and the adaptive backlight uh, no longer causes like a tenth of a second frame hitch, or a frame time spike whenever it changes the backlight level as appreciated very much appreciated there Come on, well, it's like you're even going to be able to notice 100 milliseconds <laughs> you kind of do <laughs> a single no, frame the being on screen for a full tenth of a second yeah. when it's only supposed to be there for Sa not point it saves battery 16 <laughs> Couple of things in this though, man. They rebased SteamOS on the latest version of Arch, bitches. That's right. So yeah, there's some uh, firmware for the new docking station mm -hmm. as well. bunch of mm -hmm. bunch of bug fixes. I uh, like that they put. Um, we've enabled stream tear, um, <laughs> screen tearing <laughs> under the performance section, which I get. Yeah, I understand. Uh, You're like, fuck it, just YOLO this thing. Yeah. Um, what was it? Uh, also, if you have a DualShock 4 plugged in, um, you can't use the trackpad as a mouse anymore. Uh, it just defaults to um, just defaults to whatever the touchpad is. It, well, it wouldn't just get confusing. It disables it in Steam, mm -hmm. but yeah. you can still use it as mouse emulation if you set it up. Because how many times yes. have you like picked up your DS4 and you moved your cursor? Like, oh. 
No, nah, yeah. half the time I do that intentionally because it's like, ah, I can just, I could switch to a mouse. Just click on away. things. <laughs> Dude, yeah. sometimes I, I'll be like, no, I'll just use this. And I'm like, this is taking too long. <laughs> click. I think you're but, just but, supposed to use a thumb so it's like the... No, then I try to click on it and it makes the cursor move to the left or the right of what I'm trying to click on. Then I put it down because if I don't, I'm going to throw it. I don't know. That's I don't, I don't, for you. I, 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 don't, I don't have that problem, man. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe my life I, I, would be a I, little I, bit easier if I had a Steam Deck. Maybe, maybe you're just not cool enough. Well, we, if, you, if you got a Steam Deck and you want to be cooler, uh, Unitech has something for you. This is the thermoelectric cooler, quote unquote. Um, basically, what it means is there's a giant cold plate with a big old fan strapped to it uh, facing the back of your Steam Deck. Uh, and is it out yet? Um, yeah, it's on, pr- uh, pre-order. they have a uh, pre-order, pre-order. You, yeah. for about, uh, 119 bucks us. Um, there's a, uh, there's an $89 us one that has fewer ports. This one, uh, adds like, I think two more front facing ports, uh, than the regular steam dock, um, uh, as well. Uh, and you get both yeah. HDMI and display port instead of just HDMI on the most expensive which, one, <laughs> which, which is all, which is always nice. Cause you know, display port should be on more TVs, but it's not, mm-hmm. it's just on monitors because assholes. But yeah, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. Like I, the, the, the article here says if you've used the steam deck a lot, you get sweaty hands. I got to ask Pedro, like how are the hand sweats on, on the deck asking for me, the inventor of gamer chalk trademark. <laughs> It's, uh, the handles don't actually get hot. The, uh, as demonstrated by where the, uh, the cold plate touches the Steam Deck on that dock, it's very much in the middle. That's where the big metal plate that guides the air that comes in through the bottom, uh, breather and out the top. Uh, it, yeah, it, that's where the bulk of the heat is concentrated. So, so, so no mom spaghetti when you're using the Steam Deck is what I'm hearing. Not really, no. All right, not but for I mean, me. Like, but I'm not. My hands don't get that sweaty. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know. I, I guess this seems like an okay product for people who have fully embraced the deck dock life and wanted a portable computer and didn't want a laptop for some reason. But yeah. I think it's more of the portable games console switch type of situation, and they want to have the dock near the TV, so that when you and, have and a not dock near the fire. TV, yeah, uh, you can just play all the games. At all of the frames how, per second. How bad does the thermal throttling in dock mode actually affect performance? Have you have you noticed anything? You're, uh, there is, well, there's that issue with the um, uh, charge controlling IC uh, that gets very, very hot if you're charging the battery at the same time that you're playing a game. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that will alleviate that very much because that's right there. Uh, but yeah, it is. I like it. I I like the idea. the The thing that's kind of bugging me is that they call it thermoelectric. Is that mm-hmm. just because it's the fan is technically running on electricity and making thermals happen? Oh yes, that fan is spinning with electricity <laughs> only on a technicality, <laughs> Pedro. Yeah, all right. yes, <laughs> it's uh, electromagnetic. <laughs> it's, it, listen, uh, <laughs> it's, you, you don't have to hook it up to a nearby river so that it turns the paddle wheel. So you- <laughs> right? Um, yeah, but, I mean, if yeah, you look at it. Makes it seem like is it a Peltier device? Fuck no. <laughs> That's... You would need a lot more than that to fucking cool it off. Um, yeah, I don't think a sixty watt used to Peltier with, device. Would yeah, your Steam Deck's forty five watts. <laughs> this thing's like capable to a hundred watts. But I look at this and I'm like, okay, if you've looked at your standard Steam Deck dock and you're like, you know what this thing needs? The ability to make noise. Because that's what you're getting with this. You're getting a fucking fan that will eventually fucking fail. So my first question is, how easy it is. To replace that damn fan once it decides to legitimately go burr. Well, I see four screws in the front, so probably not that difficult. <laughs> what is it like? How, well, what size? 86 millimeter. Where'd you find that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it looks, think it, it looks like a pretty yeah. standard like laptop <laughs> yeah. uh, fan, to be honest. But yeah. And it's blinky on the back. So, I mean... Yeah, there's the RGB. The RGB is completely fucking pointless. So wait, not, wait, but, but, but <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it's pointless because like, are you point holding your, are you positioning your deck dock backwards? Because like, mm-hmm. normally you, that's the only way it would show up, right? Like, no, otherwise, Jordan, or you, if it's right plead. up against the wall, you it peasant. bounces off the wall. If thing. you buy a deck dock like this with a fan, not it can cool. You turn it around, baby, so it can cool you, and you can look at the cool uh, RGBs on it. Yes, right, it sucks it's, the air away from you <laughs> and onto the deck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I do like being sucked. Tell tell me tell me about dogs, Ven. 
The path of Kame. A Kame Kume. Kime, we were talking about Kame. Kame and no AA, relaxing puzzle exploration game. Yes, following the recently deceased Japanese wolf. What's his name? You navigate the trials Kaze. of mortal. Spirit world through puzzles. That's right. Are we going to get to the point that there it is? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that, that's some Zemensa Zacian Pokemon sword is, shit, man. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what it is, man. It is a relaxing puzzle game with an, you play as your RGB puppers. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, apparently, puppers melt in waters because I downloaded the demo. There's a demo available. It's got two options when you launch it to play the demo or to play the demo. And uh, yeah, it, by the time it managed to get up on screen, that was a lie. I jumped right in the water. I'm like, hey, dad, dog's like, does it? You're dead. And it restarted me back at the beginning. And, um, yeah. I aren't, mean, you, aren't you already dead, though? Because you, you recently just You're dog. more dead. Uh, ghost dogs are D- d- double dead. Double dead. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a thing. I mean, it, it's got a demo. That's really all I can, like, drive home for this. <laughs> I just looked at the price for the first time and paid attention to it for $4. It's a $4 game. I'll give them that. You could probably get $4. And, Jesus. What? Oh, only $8 of DLC? All right. Well, it's soundtrack, art book, lore book, and all that. Oh, it's uh, extraneous stuff to the, the game. Yeah. Okay. No. Right. <laughs> so, um, pupper platforming, if that's your thing, download the demo. Give it a try. Turn your uh, pupper around and just watch them. Uh, <laughs> rotate rotate Orbit. on center <laughs> axis which was more hilarious than it had any right to be which led me to think what does uh puppers look like when he t poses and i'm thinking it's gonna be like that cat drone right yeah i mean i mean kind of my, my dog t poses sometimes and it definitely looks pretty ridiculous yeah i, I definitely like uh Pe- pedro bar in the notes i got some okami vibes but okami is like an action game this is this is more of a puzzle game right mm-hmm. yeah it's budget okami that didn't have the budget for you know all the actiony the particle effects type of situation yeah like in the demo i ran up to like a little shrine thing and like oh press this button to bark at it or whatever and it lights up and it takes some of your health but immediately gives your health back to i didn't understand the transaction, so I jumped back into the water and I cut it off. Um, <laughs> as, as, as you do. As one does. Not as uh, interesting as whatever this soul stone. Listen, yeah, I, I, can, I can talk about this because it's not vampire survivors, and so I don't immediately hate it. It's I can't believe it's not vampire survivors in early access. Soul stone survivors, as a matter of fact, people seem to really like it. I scroll down to the reviews and everyone's like, Zama got vampire survivors. Soulstone survivors, so I guess they seem to really, really like it. Um, I yeah, uh, it's uh, twelve ninety nine right now. They have they just put out the uh, not point nine twenty seven hours patch. Uh, they added an endless mode. Uh, there's some balance changes, uh, and uh, apparently there's like a level scaling thing. I selected the story because there was unselected before the show went live, so I don't really know what to talk about. Pedro, tell them about Vampire Survivors, or not <laughs> Vampire Survivors. <laughs> it really made me think of Vampire Survivors, like, um, because of this new revolution that we've seen in game AI, where all the enemies just immediately, like, V-line straight for the uh, player, which is mm-hmm. uh, groundbreaking that we first yeah, saw uh, ever in Vampire Survivors. Been- no. <laughs> I mean, revolutionary, and this seems to ape that a little bit. But yeah, it does kind of look like Vampire Survivor HD with a bunch it's of extra It's a bit shit. more Active, yes. Okay, what, what, survivors... what if I said um, Victor Vren with dumber AI? It, it's even <laughs> more arena. It's it's even more arena based than the very obvious arenas that constitute the levels in Victor Vren. Okay. This one is very much just an arena. You get done with that arena, you move on, go to the next one. But yeah, it is much more active than Vampire Survivors because you actually have attacks. You have like six of them at the bottom of the screen, so. Okay, that's that's it's just a your typical arena shooter survivory type of situation. Uh-huh. Yeah, what, what's potato? We have- <laughs> that's vampire survivors. <laughs> no, it's not. This is clearly <laughs> it's clearly super meat boy survivors. Obviously. <laughs> Man, that 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 Brotato is very clearly aping Super Meat Boy, unless it's like the same artist and it's like, yeah, of course I'm ripping myself off. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, that could have been an HD upgrade as well. Uh, hey, uh, Soulstone, I mean, it looks decent, not for what it is. Like if you mm-hmm. like that, uh, run backwards. Yep. I look forward to it coming out of early access because that does look like it would be my jam. <laughs> Maybe that would interest interest me just a little more than um, Vampire Survivors did. And that was uh, I, I'm impressed that people are able to put that much time into that. That I might be able to play around, with, especially if that controller support. 
you got controller support or I can sit back, spin around, blow stuff up. No crafting, by the way. Hopefully. I don't know. I didn't dig that far. Into ah, it. There's uh, one of the screenshots uh, shows what seems to be like a weapon upgrade screen. <laughs> upgrades I can handle. I'm smart enough for weapon upgrades. I can like big, bigger thing gooder. Okay, done. <laughs> More damage. That's usually what the uh, crafting systems devolve into for the most part. Yes, but it, it's like that more with a bunch of extra steps. steps thrown in the middle. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> more, more, way more grinding. But you know, you know, every everyone's here. Everyone's dead, and we're all here again. I don't remember because I have memory saver <laughs> made Chrome faster. What is this bullshit, Google? Well, this tab was an active memory saver, freed up memory or other. T I have thirty-two gigs, and I'm using like eight. Fuck off. Uh, got it. All right. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Yeah. Listen, you listen. Chrome, is, Chrome is trying to not eat your memory. That that's a good thing, right? I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, since everyone is here, Google Chrome didn't want to be left out. But yeah, volume two of uh, the Everyone Is Here sale uh, is currently out. There's a bunch of games on sale, and to commemorate uh, that uh, getting together, the fine folks at um, Dead Cells decided, you know what? Let's just bring characters from all the games into ours. And they did. Uh, they brought Shovel Knight. The no, the Commando. absolute fuck they did not. There's not a Hollow Knight in that entire trailer. Yeah, there, the, there's not a Hollow Knight in that entire trailer because Hollow Knight is not a part of the Everyone Is Here Again bundle. Um, so you have uh, the Shovel Knight, you have the Risk of Rain, you have uh, the Commando from Risk of Rain, uh, the protagonist from Katana Zero, Jacket from Hotline Miami, the Ironclad from okay, Slay this the guy, Spire. This guy, the way he was swinging. All right, we got to back that up. Tell me. Yeah, that's the guide from Terraria. <laughs> Tell me this, though. Were you not? Okay. God. <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Not this. Bonk. Hang on. This upcoming guy. Upcoming guy. This swing. Doesn't it remind you of that fucking weeb game that we fucking played that had such a weak ass swing that looked really good? That pixel art. Never mind. All right. Fine. I was trying to make <laughs> As you Spacing were. on it. Play yeah. it off. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the 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 one the one that really that really wrapped caused me to like have my eyes glaze over was reading that they they added the uh, the protagonist the ironclad from slay the spire and because that is a deck building roguelike where your character is very different in between runs they're like yeah so the deck building skill is now a floating skill between the three the four main classes of slay the spire with a passive benefit that you can shoot as an active benefit and then you switch to the next class and I'm like. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I guess that is how you translate a deck building roguelike into a side scrolling action roguelike, I guess. I gotta admit, I like the um, pixel art done with the Hollow Knight. Not Hollow Knight. Oh, yeah. uh, Shovel Knight. <laughs> the other night. That's not Hollow. The full night. Shovel Knight. Uh, yeah, the, the extra uh, fulfilled night. Uh, Horny Knight. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Outside of that, oh, this guy's got a baseball bat. That's cheating. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the dude from Hotline Miami. Miami. <laughs> also, whenever they said the protagonist from Katana Zero, I just assume that it's Katana Steel from Discord, and I know that's <laughs> not right, but I'm still going to pretend. Yeah, yeah this no, is uh, Shovel Knight and a bunch of other games that uh, technically... Yeah, they're all on sale now. Uh, the link will be in the show notes. Uh, yeah, it is awesome to see that developers of uh, Dead Cells are still very much uh, putting stuff out there and now they're it's, just bringing other games into their game. Why not? I, I, I don't know. I'm a big mark for the crossovers. I, I like it when like oh, such and such from Game X shows up in Game Y. Oh no, fun. You can even play them for a little bit. So th th this this appeals to me. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go back to Dead Cells because I suck at that game, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's always fun. I, I, Does, I like seeing um, this kind of stuff. Did they ever update the Linux build of Dead Cells, or are we just stuck with just use Proton? Uh, they did because they didn't like the uh, unsupported Steam thing. <laughs> ah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> so, something that we all played multiple times until we played through it the first time, then more like next Turtle Power. Turtle Power. Yeah. Yeah, Shredder's Revenge. Uh, they got a new patch out, uh, and they added party codes, dude, so you can party on Garth. Um, they have uh, they got rid of uh, Xbox prompts for uh, DualShock Five users. Um, there's a they fixed a long respawn delay. Um, there's some client side issues that got fixed as well. Um, the uh, when you uh, when you join people's games, it'll respect your controller configs. It won't default to theirs as well. Ooh. Yeah, I mean it's it's just small fixes. Nice to see. Nice to see that they haven't that Dotinmu hasn't like shipped this game and they're like, okay, we're done. Nothing will ever be fixed anymore. Well, they've done a couple updates. I mean, yeah, I think we all really like that game too. Yeah, it's, it's a fun beat 'em up. 
I mean, it was a good modern reinterpretation of like the original arcade game that I think we've all experienced. It was Turtles of Rage, and that was fine. Yes, <laughs> six player, absolute chaos, Smash Fest, and it definitely has turned into the you know people trying to achieve certain you know difficulty settings with timing and all that fun stuff, which is awesome if that's your jam. But I'm glad, yeah, what you said. I'm, I'm glad that they're uh, definitely fixing that now. Having the difficulty on that note displayed in the lobbies a great idea because you definitely get people like us that are like let's just put it in fuck around mode and let's just go smash some stuff up and we die then you got other people this is serious business you need to stay the hell out of my lobby because we're playing in hard mode and get out of here scrub yeah and, and, and we're going for those like don't get hit by it three right. times or whatever exactly yeah. and uh yeah because you know people are going for those hard runs like that and they're looking for yeah. the people that want to participate at that level so what i'm saying is Make sure those are the ones you always join. Yes. <laughs> Regardless of your skill level. <laughs> LGC cares. Um, what do we have up next? This is Extranium. Extranium. It's yes. Extraneous, all right. Uh, version 0. 0.9.0. 0. Uh, it's the new update. Basically, uh, if you, you know, are into boomer shooters, and you've probably seen this one already because it's been featured on all of the uh, boomer shooter cons that New Blood and 3D Realms like to put on every now and then. And yeah, this one brings a uh, priority of weapons. Uh, whenever you pick up a new weapon, it doesn't automatically change to it. If it happens to be a grenade launcher resulting in, oh, you are dead now. Uh, they've uh, also introduced the first level of episode two and the explosions caused by the player's own weapon. <laughs> now Why are only, they trying uh, to the make by 50%. Doom cutesy? <laughs> This is wrong. Doom was yes. already cute. What are you talking about? It was it was perfect. No, Doom was sexy. They're trying to make and it cute. They make uh, squeaky noises. Those uh, little oh, tiny geez. squids. They make real squeaky yeah, I noises. I don't need to it's stab Tyler. my electronics, Pedro. So no, I'm Dude. not. No, see what, what would be the real survival horrors if they made like anime sexy noises? Then you'd be like, oh god, get me out of here. Uh, they they introduced a new uh, enemy type with this as well. Uh, they have a grenadier now who will chuck grenades mm -hmm. at you. Always fun. Hey, Linux demo. Good. Hey, yep. hey. Linux demo. And uh, the uh, price is a little bit steep for the amount of uh, content that's in there right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the developer is also getting a little bit burnt out. It's like, okay, I might only do three episodes because I don't think I have, you know, the mental capacity to do four. But then he's with this update is like, okay, maybe I was a little premature with that. I'll try to do four anyway. But, you know, don't push him. There's, well, there's mean, other boom toots out there to play, so go boom play toots. that. Boom yes. toots. <laughs> Get on it, Scott. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that happens sometimes, though. Uh, how, how many times have we seen the, uh, like, yeah, I don't know if I got any more for the game I'm working on than sales, just crater. And like, um, I need to pay rent. Uh, yeah. yeah hey <laughs> yeah well, it's, it's 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 when <laughs> when the passion project becomes your like actual Work, day job yeah. then yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's a it's a tricky transition mm -hmm. well speaking of transitions coming up next we got a new version of dicks fix out finally and some people are going to be very upset about that nintendo's going to be very upset about the latest yuzu update Stay that'd tuned. be like some fucked up checks mix the news they they be coming uh I was don't you say, worry who lives in a pirate under this <laughs> who lives dirty. in a pirate and i you, you know what it, it's it's a cohabitation arrangement Tapeworms? it's fine well you can do what you Sp want spongebob man because <laughs> a pirate is free and you are a pirate uh, so yeah uh don't worry we'll get to the news there will be drivers worry, as everyone. usual there will be no diddling of these Yarr! If you if you want to give us some gold doubloons, y'all can head on over God to Patreon.com. Now I need a pirate slash, setting. Yeah, Patreon.com. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting yeah, there. Patreon.com. Yeah, uh, become a Patreon. I've, I've run out of pirate jargon. Uh, yeah, become a Patreon. You get uh, cool stuff like access to our Discord channel. You can also get that by subbing to us on Twitch here, twitch.tv slash linuxgamecast. You just got to link your accounts. If it doesn't work, yell at Discord. Yell at Patreon. Yes. Yell at Twitch. We cannot control it. We're sorry. Um, 
Moving on. Uh, yeah, uh, we got we got um, we got uh, other stuff. Oh, I can take uh, that back. To- uh, if you sign, you can get access to our Discord through Twitch. If you sub, but Twitch straight up throws us under the bus. It's like give oh. it a week or start bugging ah. the creator. I'm like, ah, <laughs> all, right, all right. Well, <laughs> go go, go go call up Jeff Bezos and yes. tell him that you have a problem. Uh, what else do you get if with our Patreon? You get access to our show notes at the 250 or higher level. That's the death notes. You can watch the show congeal over the course of the week. Uh, we're in there putting our Except story for suggestions this in because I might have forgotten to send those on to like five hours ago oops technically yeah, if, early though if you want to suggest stories though you can do that as well as a patreon mm-hmm. um we have you can rsvp to game streams i do borderlands jorderlands on thursdays Jordan's three you and uh joe or, uh, yeah dan- dancing joe young how's and that low. work work out because I, I tuned in and i caught you were running up to a vehicle and i was like in three two so joe do you like to drive and I'm like there it is um. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's nice to have someone to draw the fire. You know, we were we were talking about like vampire survivors, but how the, all the enemies beeline towards you. Mm-hmm. It's nice when there's a second person for them to beeline towards because then they all just don't fucking surround you at once. How's uh, what level are you guys at? Uh, we hit I think ten or eleven. We we finished the first planet and we got access to the second one, and that just opened up a bunch of missions. Is uh, Borderlands three just like more Borderlands two? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much? Um, how many yeah, people pretty much, can you uh, get in? You got two right uh, now two and it goes up to four so we got two slots open if you, you want to join in yeah two slots uh so uh hit us up uh the game goes on sale it's free on epic sometimes okay. the cross play the cross play does work so if you um if you do get a free copy uh from a non-steam source you can still play with us and speaking yeah. of spots i think i got uh we have a nine ten, we got about four three or four spots in uh, track media if you want to come hang out with us with our retro racing linux and laps we do that on tuesdays and fridays so tuesdays coming up hopefully before friday this week if we're sticking with linear time uh, all that information is linked on our twitch page or just head over to linkschemecast.com you can find out if you want to get into it we just get together and we hang out and we do 14 fresh maps each and every week and we do a little race and we give out prizes on friday and you win new and exciting i think i gave out a copy of uh system shock enhanced edition oh nice well, uh, y- you know what else is a shock to your system? No. LGC merch. No. Store it at, store it at <laughs> Go there. Buy some stuff. We have brand new products for you. We got tote bags. We got stickers. We got sweaters. Uh, we got hoodies. coffee mugs. Hoodies. Yep. We got we got lady lady shirts. Uh, put Frank on the woman that you want to put Frank on, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Frank. I'm sure Frank There's would appreciate some additional it. Additional fucking steps required in that one. Okay, <laughs> there, there, if you would there, like to there, remain there non-incarcerated. True. Yes. <laughs> true. Um. What? What? What else? Um. Got wish zones. Uh. Go to Linux game cost. The Linux cost. game cost. Yes. I'm. I'm very British right now. Cost. Uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Master over the uh, support button. And uh, yeah, I got one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. You can buy us stuff and send us little notes that we have to read on the air. Bort. Bort. Listen, they they have <laughs> they finally have Bort license plates in stock. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What does Pedro have? Uh, nothing that I can buy. Oh, he's got his hipster green ram. Yes, uh, yes I remember <laughs> yes. that. Uh, <laughs> cooling multi-platinum radiator. Vengeance. Is the I am smallest, vengeance. Uh, I am the knight. Best, not smallest, anymore. Uh, thinnest uh, heat sink that you can get for AM4. I don't so, more <laughs> green RAM. Anything? Nope. I don't have anything new on the list. Uh, we got one for the studio. You'll end up back here. I'll publicly shame you for your fiscal responsibility. So please be aware of that. But you do get to send us a note, and we will read it out. Sometimes begrudgingly, if you're clever about it, because you know what? Weaponize these. Have some fun. You can basically get us to say whatever you want, and then you just take the clip off That's of what that. It, you can <laughs> just, assemble just like, your own uh, script for a few bucks, man. Like, yeah, just, then turn and, around and blackmail us. Uh, Ver- Veritanuda <laughs> didn't take us up on the Amazon thing, but it took us up on took Pedro up on the Steam thing, right? Yeah, uh, he saw No Man's Sky on my uh, Steam wait, wish list. Wait, uh, wait, wait, stop. You mean somebody bought you something on Steam that was on, that my was wish on list. your wish list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong Fox. why does this I shit ever happen to the, the rest of us games. man what the hell why are you special <laughs> I, 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 I appreciate I get it, I get all the free sometimes. games that Foxy has gifted me I do I really do but uh, it's nice to get something that you do actually want to play uh, the <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, he said a note like, uh, Pedro, uh, explore the universe from the comfort of your Steam Deck. And I have actually tried to play it on the Steam Deck. And yeah, lock it to 40 FPS. It's smooth. It's very nice, actually. Uh, I've been playing it again, uh, this just using the Steam Deck. Uh, enjoy. Buckle up, Veritanuda. 
So thank you very much. <laughs> we also got to thank uh, Nubbin for resubbing to us. 30 on months, Twitch. man. 3 0. Yeah. Nubbin, Nubbin is like our big success story in Trackmania. Nubbin started with like, hey, look, there's a quarter and there goes Nubbin. Huh. <laughs> now he's definitely in contention. And I love stuff like that. Just keep your mind active, getting good. Uh, is there any games that you play competitively or think about playing competitively? No. Jordan, I'm, none. I'm, no, no, can't do it. There's Dude, no like. I'm, I'm too shitty a competitor. I don't uh, like myself when I do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I always like that little bit of, I like friendly competition. I, it's, it, it's like, it's like that alcoholic thing where it's like, you can't, you can't just have like one beer. You have to have all the beers. Uh, it's, it's, it's that with like winning for me. You don't have I like, like to play Dark Souls online. So I, I very much like the randos just showing up and sometimes winning, mostly losing. Pedro, but, why haven't you modded to PlayStation 4? I watched Maximilian do it. He's got a PS4 Pro modded to play Bloodborne at 60 FPS with a randomizer too, man. I what I it's did with dope the PS4. as hell. I'm watching it. I'm like that. <laughs> well, I, it's like the he, thing he, that I did with the PS4 was the do unholy. The unholy break. is what it was, Pedro. You better be glad no one <laughs> you, caught you. You're, 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 let, you're letting it collect us. I just like the idea that Maximilian Dude is still like the cooler Pedro. Oh yeah, that's not a very high, high bar to cross. To be fair. <laughs> It's, I, it's yeah, but <laughs> listen. If you if you want to be the coolest Nori, get patron, some you got to mod your PS4. We'll have a Maximilian yeah. dude at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nvidia drivers, ladies and gentlemen, they're out, and they're beta drivers five two five five three. Not to be confused with whatever the version was before that. A couple of things there. Nothing ground changing, groundbreaking. Even uh, they did remove the hard requirement for GTK two finally because no one ships that anymore. <laughs> But uh, yeah, to, not now. <laughs> yeah, right. And they added support to something that not only terrifies, but petrifies Pedro. They have added dynamic boost support on notebooks with AMD CPUs. And that's a horrible thing, isn't it, Pedro? It's kind of scary. Yeah, because what dynamic boost does is if the GPU is using a, like max power that it's allotted to, but the CPU isn't, it goes, okay, let me borrow some of that power. And it effectively overclocks or overvolts itself in order to get the extra bit of performance since it sees itself as the bottleneck. Mm -hmm. That's great in theory, but we're talking a very thermally constrained design like a laptop, and you have an NVIDIA GPU, which is already very, very hot, mm -hmm. monolithic die and all that, uh, it, and it's going to pull even more power. That's, That's how that works. Yep. <gasps> I just said, listen, I'm going to put my laptop into my Steam Dock with the RGB fan <laughs> on it. I mean, you can do that. You, you can't. You don't have to cram it in. It's just like a little dongle, right? You can no, just, I, no, no, I'll just tape it to the back of the laptop. <laughs> yeah, it need, needs more super glue. Mm -hmm. uh, DKMS, uh, they changed their workflow as well. So now, uh, before it would register to GK, DKMS and actually have that do the build, now the installer builds the driver and then registers to DKMS after the fact means that you hopefully should not have to go through another rebuild after a reboot, which is nice for me because uh, <sighs> someone who builds my own kernel, Dude. Uh, it's, Dude. it's a bit, it's a, it's a pain point. A Dude, little bit. it is the, how many fucking kernels do I have installed every time? Cause it happens just with enough infrequency mm -hmm. to where I sit there and go, I really need to clean the fucking kernels out of this thing when it's on like the number five. I'm like, Oh, come on. Really? And then that's the one that fails and you're like, fucking hell, really? For all, all this time for nothing. I will say it does build in kernel 6.0. I'm running it right now. And uh, I mean, it's an NVIDIA driver, uh, which was nice. Uh, oh, by the way, every time you do the uh, binary driver updates, as I'm sure Jordan and I know Pedro might still remember the days of being on team corporate green of uh, starting up Proton and getting like, why is the fans spinning up on <laughs> yeah. ah yes gotta <laughs> recompile all those shaders hmm. yeah oh right new ver new driver version right mm. right right okay mm. yeah you better hope they work because if you roll it back guess what you gotta do again oh boy yeah <laughs> that's what that's why you check that check that allow background processing yeah shit. just just do it in the background while it's idle it's cool <laughs> that's the one that gets me on this box because this fucker gets loud with those uh Ah, just and just randomly that too. AIO because like, normally everything in here is just flat silence, so you hear everything and you hear the. Mm. I'm like, 
the fuck's going you know h top and it's know. using yeah. like half of your threads is like yeah. steam uh right you're right. compiling right the yeah I, right I, okay. I told you to do that i can't be mad at you <laughs> no I, I, i'll be i'll be slightly cross but yes <laughs> yes <laughs> i did not expect the noise but that's what it is all right uh yeah uh, two dicks and no vix uh the dxvk it basically now came I, in now i want dicks vapor rub <laughs> I, I, I was I thinking think of that already Diesel exists. for some reason, <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that already exists, maybe in a joking capacity, but I'm sure someone's made a version that's just D- Dick Dick's Diesel. vapor rub. <laughs> and yeah, all these has got Dick's vapor. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, all of this to it's introduce Dick something um, rub. <laughs> DXVK 2.0. Yes, it's finally made it to it's 2.0. It's great for colds and hands. <laughs> And what they're doing is, I guess, they're in an effort to justify, okay, it's a like major version increase, so what are we doing? We're basically drawing the line like VKD3D did, uh, we talked about it last week or the week before, uh, where, okay, you need NVIDIA 510 and Mesa 22, you need both if you can run. Yeah! <laughs> well, well, like that, that's the, that's the thing. Uh, so J- Joshi talks about this in in the in the post. All right, it's, I, it's not Doc. Deutsch- Joshi, it's <laughs> Deutschen, the other guy. Uh, but yeah, uh, but he, he's saying like yeah, in order to like keep the performance increases coming, like you, they need uh, more and more of the advanced Vulcan features that are being released right now. The minimum spec is Vulcan one point three, and like it, it makes sense when this this is the cost you pay when you're implementing an API in another API, right? You need to you need to make sure that you can maintain performance, and sometimes that means moving the dial forward a little bit so you can pull in the new features you do need yep. and if you're uh, if you can already run uh the current uh branch of experimental in proton then you're fine you'll support the xvk 2.0 no problem and yeah version uh 7.0 in proton with the old xvk and the old vkd 3d are going to be like the legacy hopeful versions for people who have the older gpus that don't support the newer drivers the ones that still support Vulcan somehow, which they exist. There's a very thin uh, line there, the, that particular diagram, but uh, they exist. And speaking, uh, yeah, oh. mostly laptops, old laptops. <laughs> I was going to say, speaking of uh, DirectX as well, a uh, little bit of p- pour one out for uh, DX10. Uh, apparently Dixvix, they're like, yeah, the wine implementation of DirectX10 is a lot more feature complete. We really haven't been focusing on it. Our main yeah. concerns have been DX11 and DX9. It is DX10 the redheaded was, stepchild of the yeah. DX series, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they're, they're, they're still including their DLL. Uh, just for the sake of it, but they're like, yeah, no, the wine, the wines, the wine projects version is better, and they're actually working on it. So please use that if you need. Now, to the understand. one thing that I like: shader compilation changes. Yes, Vulcan shaders will now be compiled at time the game loads the direct 3D shaders. Uh, to which I'll ask, bitch, why wasn't this a thing already? Uh, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? You're like, oh, you spend all this time, you know, crunching your shaders, and you get in the game, and you're like. <sighs> Spin, 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 <laughs> spin, spin. Everyone knows the like load your yep. shaders spin and you wait till it gets done. However, this could have some issues, uh, especially like if it's uh doing the loading the shaders during um loading screens or in the menu that could like lead to prolonged periods of just like high CPU. You're like, what's going on? That's what it's doing. So don't worry if it's taking a little bit extra to do that. But that that's good. I'm I'm glad to see that. That makes me happy. And uh, was there anything else in here that was uh, kind of crazy? Linux build support. So, yeah. Uh, before I believe you needed to run it, uh, you needed to do the build in a uh, in a Windows environment specifically Windows to produce yeah. to, to actually produce the DLLs. But now they yes. have uh, now they have the ability to. I think they're just using MinGW to uh, spit out the DLLs now. And this is for DXVK native specifically, yes. and not DXVK that you would not just for put DXVK in your, on the yeah. Atari Twenty Six Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, the XVK native is the one that you that there's a couple of games, uh Valve games that use the XVK native to translate directly from DirectX. Yep, to Portal yeah. Vulcan. Left for Dead. Counter-Strike. Yeah. That one's. Yes. <laughs> those 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 ones. The big ones. <laughs> so you might know we've talked about emulation a couple times. I think we're all big fans of emulation. It doesn't matter where you're if you just want to play it or if you're a fan of preservation. Either way, you want to slice it. They exist and they're getting better. They're getting more good. And it's kind of amazing what we can get away with these days. Then there's the Nintendo Switch. Um <laughs> You mean the Steam Deck? 
Yes, the Nintendo Steam <laughs> Nowadays, Deck. Nowadays, yes. <laughs> Same thing, synonymous. Uses one of the projects. It's probably the most popular, well-known project that is the Switch emulation machine. And there's a ton of stuff in here that are a bunch of extra words to say that, yes, Bayonetta 3 launches. And that's about as far as we're at right now, so temper your expectations. Um, somebody did get the A770, Jordan, and so they yes. implemented some workarounds. And like, they, All right. they, they got the, someone got the 16 gig version, apparently. <laughs> they so, bought it on eBay so, for $480. No. May, uh, maybe, but uh, yeah, no, they they, uh, they uh, have some workarounds. They have some initial support for uh, Intel Arc. Uh, they are asking for folks with other hardware configurations to please validate the they work. did uh, they, there's like you know this arc thing does some weird shit with vulcan you know so it might take a minute and uh oh okay so you've set up yuzu right <sighs> no i have oh. actually no I, I i just place things on my switch pedro mateus yeah. have you set up yuzu? <laughs> no i don't have any switch games so i haven't really uh but yeah it's you can tell the steam Deck allow influences. me to say as somebody who set up you that is the most convoluted bullshit i've ever been through why because everybody's afraid nintendo gonna sue a motherfucker yeah that's why because they because uh, they will <laughs> there is a, they do throw their lawyers around yes all of the guides are like here's step one step two step six seven and eight <laughs> yes all go. of them i i'm talking page two of google man mm. like n- Setting up an emulator, setting up the ROM, setting up the keys, all this shit is not crazy moon speak to me, man. I've been around for a minute. And probably a good 45 minutes to find the right Google Drive link to get the shit I needed. Right, right. The, the, the anonymized deck. link. Emudex yeah. sets it all up for you in one script. Um, and it works outside the Steam Deck. Uh, it is, yeah. Um, yeah. And you can tell the Steam Deck influences because they're now specifically looking at uh, targeting 1610 displays because there's a lot of people running Yuzu on the Steam Deck. Go figure. So uh, a lot of people don't actually mind if the game is slightly distorted by the extra vertical pixels. But there's also people going out of their way to modify the games so that they support 1280 by 800 natively. So that's very nice. Uh, yeah, no, the Steam Deck isn't the Switch killer. Nintendo is the Switch, uh, the Switch killer. Switch. <laughs> Switch. I mean, I mean, no, <laughs> they're 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 still pulling in hand over fist money for fucking Nintendo Switches, man. They have no reason yeah. to upgrade the hardware. <laughs> like, you want to play the, 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 the Nintendo game? You uh, you're going to buy the Switch. <laughs> Let, let's listen. <laughs> next next week, I'm gonna end up probably paying another hundred dollars for a Pokemon game. So um. you know, you know, here. here they, they they have me by the balls, and I'm not the only one. <laughs> no, Here's no, Bayonetta they three. I mean, technically launching units. <laughs> which oh, why, why, why release it on real systems? Oh man, I just wish the Switch would die. <laughs> but people are still buying hundred dollar Pokemon games day one. So, yep. Nintendo would be fooled not to take advantage of that shit. Hey. Um. <laughs> really, uh, some kind of foul sorcery. What do you think? Like the emulation see i don't i don't have anything to i was like just reading up on like switch emulation because i'm like all right because i found myself at amazon yet again going just fucking buy switch <laughs> principal gig it's like no fuck nintendo for locking this bullshit down and mm. i was going somewhere with that yeah you 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 had a question but i, I think did. uh yeah, Side that, that, uh, no, no, it's, thinking, it's it's gone. Thinking about it's gone. Now, let's, hand, let's, let's, let's let's talk about sorcery. Shadows under Lilgamin. I'm sure I butchered that because I am not Huelsh, so I don't speak a like pirate. Would I get it right? Yep. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't. <laughs> pirate that pirate is illiterate, illiterate, <laughs> and also highly drunk. Nothing more dangerous than a literate pirate. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Shadows Under Legoman. It's an open source remake of the first three Wizardry, I guess, and also Wizardry Five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking help me out on this. A, a remake of one, two, two three, and, and five. five. What's the story yeah. behind that? I have no idea. I never played they any of the source. Probably source four, and now it's in like rights or hell. <laughs> or either 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 that or four. They decided to go in a different direction. Everyone hated it, and then five was the classic formula. That's usually what ends up happening. But yeah, there, uh, this is an engine reimplementation. Um, right now, it's using the painter's algorithm method. Eventually, he's hoping to get OpenGL rendering working, but he's got to actually learn OpenGL. Um, yeah. Uh, this is and one other cool thing. This guy does all of his coding for this project under Linux. Always fun to hear. There are still some missing features though, like items and non-player uh-huh. characters, monsters. But 
uh, there's, uh, but there's still plenty of work to be done. If you're looking for a open source project to, um, uh, to hack on, and you're a big fan of classic dungeon crawlers, ones that required you to actually keep, actually keep a notebook with your map because there was no mini map, uh, then yeah, this, this def- definitely something for you to check out. It's done using C++ and SFML. I love this, uh, Hobbit Bill. Hobbit Bill. Yep. <laughs> Bail. <laughs> Bill. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, I have I have a hobbit named Ven and Solasta, so you know they, they have they have names. I mean, I'm sure that's a deep cut right at the end of the right at the bottom of the thing. Trebor sucks, but I don't know enough sorcery. I don't to... know. I know like Trebor is like Trevor, uh, but <laughs> tre- I don't know Trebor. Like tre- 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 Trebor, Trebor manufacturing semi truck manufa- accessories manufacturing. You just okay. I am for- for those of you watching the video version, yeah, you, we get down to the bottom of this, and at the bottom of the GitHub page, all caps, Trebol sucks, S-U-X, a, man. I'm sure yeah. it's a deep cut, but I, I, this I, I don't This is important postscript, text. then. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you know what? He, he, Trebor, uh, on the Wizardry wiki, non-playable character who was first mentioned in Wizardry Proving Grounds of the Man Overlords, uh, Trebor is Robert Woodhead's na- first name spelled backwards. Ah, it's the guy who the NPC insert of the guy who made the game originally. Right. Okay. <laughs> Tyl. So no one likes the Mary Sue. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, it, it's like like General British or Lord British in Ultima. Yeah. Well, maybe we don't have a system powerful enough to run this game. <laughs> we need. Yeah, to you're, you're get, you know, you need to stream it on your brand new Logitech handheld. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, th- this is, comes from Reddit. Cohen Jordan, no relation, uh, has a uh, uh, put out a post ten days ago. They're uh, a verified. A verified Xbox, Xbox employee. He on works our, for Xbox. Yeah, the uh, Xbox. On, on our Xbox. Essential. I'm sure they have an Xbox division. The, you know, the, the one the that Xbox. Phil Spencer nope, was in charge. There's a singular of. one fucking walking around Microsoft <laughs> yeah. fucking people up, man. Like, you work uh, no, for me now. You're like, no, it's, Xbox. It's, it's it's singular and plural, right? Uh, but they've uh, added quality performance and performance improvements on Linux in Chrome OS. And uh, going into the comments here, uh, there's basically a theory that uh, they basically updated the latest Rainway stack that uh, adds uh, uh, 1080 60 support for Android and Linux before you were limited to 72030 as if you didn't change your uh, user agent. So, I mean... We we really can't like sing Microsoft phrases all this much because they're literally just added a valid a couple valid entries to their uh, user agent checker. But still, oh you motherfucker, laughs at Netflix. Um, yeah, <laughs> but you know, but you know, since you know, cloud gaming is the future. TM and most of the handhelds these days yeah. are running Android or you just Linux. Just wait until Stadia Two comes out. <laughs> Stadia Two running Windows, absolutely. Isn't that just? GeForce now though. <laughs> Nvidia's gonna sue somebody. <laughs> no, it's it, it's it's good. They they removed the need for people to have the user agent switcher and just go, no, I'm totally running Edge on Windows, Microsoft. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to see because this is on RX Cloud and this is a verified Microsoft employee and it's a post directed at Linux users, which well and Android users really, but you know, Linux users are Tangentially. Well, I mean, it says <laughs> Linux and Chrome OS, so I think you yep. mean Chrome OS users. <laughs> Chrome OS users, yes. With your Android, Android, Chrome OS. I is, run is, is it really any different? Fuck you, I'm on Fuchsia. Uh, yeah, because Android is run in a container in Chrome OS, so I guess it is <laughs> significantly different. <laughs> so do you think this has anything to do with, like, um, like Valve coming to Chrome? Uh, I, I think this is this is now that uh, handheld gaming is becoming a lot more popular, mm-hmm. and since everyone's still trying to push game streaming, most of these handhelds are running some form of Linux. So at this point, it behooves you to improve support by adding a, white, a whitelisted user agent. Does, does you know? this make the uh, Logitech cloud gaming device make any more sense or less? Yes, sense? It, it makes it the ha- must-have device of 2023. Got it. it, it yes, yeah, so it makes it so two more people will buy <laughs> If you if you buy one, everyone will think you're just super hot and will want to have sex with you. Uh, I think that yes, was reserved it, for pirates. The, the badge of uh, virility. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Oh, baby, is is that one of those new Logitech cloud handhelds? Let me get naked for you. Yeah, you say that, Ben. In thirty years, somebody's gonna have one of those in a box. And that shit's gonna be on Space eBay for like half a million dollars. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. No, I look and forward to like five years. Someone dropper. going. 
Look at the failed Logitech gaming handheld. <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah, no, it's going to be you set down, your little... and then you're going to get hands on it. You hear mm, mm. no, it, it, it's, it's going to be in the in your little personal museum of failed consoles with the N-Gage and the Ouya mm-hmm. and the Atari the Atari Link or Jaguar, whatever the new ones. Links, I don't forget. Yeah. The, the the new Atari console I, is it just called the Atari? But people actually like the VCS though the VCS. because they that, wiped. That was a, yeah, they wiped the whatever uh, it came with, and they just installed regular Linux. As, as it turns out, it's an all right computer for the price. Right, right, but but it's still a failed <laughs> console. That's my point. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and it, and, it, and it goes into your museum that you bring your gate home and you show them it, and they're like, "Take me now, you sexy beast." You you gotta be you gotta be you, that that can't be dropped in a surprise. Like the motherfucker that's got like shit like that just like there, there are other warning signs before you make it back to the house no, what, if, what if there aren't what if there <laughs> it's aren't? just no. that one room that's like suspiciously locked there's no yeah. n- no visibility uh, uh, into it just a uh, closed hey, door when, when you're at the coffee shop <laughs> doing stage look for the hooks <laughs> yar all right well speaking of hooks i don't know i have nothing to do with hooks with this coming up next okay. with the at operation <laughs> pink eye Oh no, I think I farted on my pillow. And now it's the Chairquisition. Welcome back! This is where uh, we try and put some uh, put some like eye drops and some clear eyes, and we take a look at a game uh, that runs on a bunch of different Linux distributions. We, I run them on Fedora. Pedro runs it on Nobara. Ben runs it on Debian. Uh, fairly different hardware profiles. Then we give you a clear-eyed review. One, ch- one to four chairs. One chair means that it's garbage. Four chairs means it's great. This week, we're taking a look at Operation Pink Eye by Stormplay Games, done on the Godot engine. You can pick it up for about $10.99 US. What is it? Operation Pink Eye, not Operation Mindcrime, is a throwback first-person shooter where you play as a secret agent in an alternate universe that acts where the acts of union of in 1707 never happened. Scotland and England Pedro, remain where do you hide independent. The Pedro, seriously, where do, where do you hide the bodies? You, ha- you didn't uh, take off that bullshit aim thing. Um, <laughs> no, no, yeah. I didn't. That was deliberate for the video. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Uh, Scotland and England remain independent, and tensions between the two remain very high. We got to thank uh, Stormplay Games for sending us some keys over Creator Connect. So let's let's go to our current resident of England. How are how are English Scottish tensions right now in in uh, Nobara lands? I, I think the Scottish are feeling a little. Um... Well, they're feeling good because uh, none of them uh, wanted anything to deal with the cur- current political situation, but we'll skip that. Uh, over here on the uh, Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and the um, RX 6700 XT, uh, the game launched out of the box. Absolutely no issues there. Uh, it's frame limited by default to did 60 you try to guess? Okay, at some point in this level, did you go, all right, let's get in that ship? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. That was okay. like the last thing I wanted to do because it looked really obvious and I thought that's where the objective okay. was, so I didn't right. even try. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the uh, the options seem a, f- a fairly bit limited. Uh, Van and Jordan will uh, go into that a bit more. But it is uh, that there's a uh, frame limiter only goes up to 60 and uh, there's no option to change the controls in game. Thankfully, the Godot config file is human readable and you can change everything there fairly easily. Uh, then it will correctly vsync to whatever refresh rate you have. Uh, and if you're playing it on the deck, you can just limit it to 40 as well. That works fine out of the box. Um, but artificially limiting people's options before the game even starts doesn't bode well. Mouse sensitivity is fucking weird if you're playing in GoldenEye 64 mode, uh, <laughs> or a classic, as uh, they call it. Uh, the voice lines and the English subtitles are just different enough that it got a chuckle out of me on a couple of situations. A very good job. <laughs> uh, and the low poly graphics with the superimposed faces on the characters, they get pretty funny sometimes. Uh, as for the fun, I, I don't know if it's fun, but it does make with the funnies. Uh, there's a blend of English and Scots that to me, as someone who speak, uh, talks to a uh, Scottish person and a very, very Northern English person on a fairly regular basis, it's just hilarious and i think that's the point i think that's what they were going for they wanted to make a golden eye like but set in this alternative uh, reality where england and scotland never joined to form the united kingdom so now uh the Engl- uh, english prime minister uh is in contact with a terrorist organization and they're developing um a biological weapon that gives everyone pink eye 
hence the name. Uh, but I do honestly think, uh, you know, that they succeeded in creating a funny um, GoldenEye-like uh, and as much as I want to take credit for that, uh, that goes to CV11, that he was the first person that I heard say that. Uh, they succeeded in creating that funny GoldenEye-like um, around that with enough of a retro vibe that it falls in line with, you know, the boomer shooters coming out right now. And for the price, it needs a bit of work, like being able to change controls at refresh rate to 144, and the mouse sensitivity going under 20% in-game without having to fuck with a config file. That'd be nice. Uh, but it doesn't take ver itself very seriously at all. So it's it's called Operation Pink Eye, fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, three chairs. <laughs> All right, well, on Fedora 3564-bit with the R930 900X and the GTX 1080Ti. Launches out of the box, but man, that language selection dialog menu, that is some that is some fucking ear rape. <laughs> ow, my, um, ow. Um, the configuration, oh, that's wonderfully retro, though. It's like a old Windows menu. Um, definitely use normal aiming, though. If you use uh, the classic golden eye mode, uh, don't. I, I, I don't recommend it. Um, you gotta, there is a windowed mode support, Thing. You got to drag your own resolution. Does not remember the resolution that you set, so you're going to have to set it every time you launch the game. Um, and the soundtrack is very cheesy. It sounds like a very much not 007, but the voice acting, it's pretty craptastic, and I got to give it some marks for that. It's, pre it's pretty funny. Fun-wise, it's just okay. It certainly looks as shitty as GoldenEye, and if you're scoring based on verisimilitude, then you get full marks. Beyond that, though, you gotta say, it's kind of just another generic shooter on Linux with some funny Scottish gibberish thrown in. And I don't I don't know if it's just me, but the Scottish not bond as a joke works like one or two times, and then, then it doesn't. Oh, this mission, I, I wanted to talk about this. We, we were talking about it briefly. Interacting with like uh, ha like putting bugs on stuff is super weird because it's the same framework that like grenades use. Mm -hmm. So you don't think that I need to chuck a. Gr I, I I I figured that out through process of elimination of looking <laughs> at the menu, uh, the the options menu, and I'm like, okay, and oh, that, is that a USB stick in my grenades? Can I just okay? I guess that's that's how Don't you do it. Die. Yeah. yeah. Don't Don't die. Die. <laughs> No why, also, also, get, guy, why why would you put that ladder there leading up to a boat <laughs> that we can't go into? We played Hitman. That is literally the tutorial mission to Hitman. Why would you do this to us? Um, yeah. Uh, the missions are pretty standard. Golden Life Air. You got some object objectives. You got some big green fucking arrows to indicate where they actually are on the map maps. There is some complexity that gets introduced when it comes to order of operations of objectives. Like you have to find uh, certain things first, like a disguise that fucking mission where I kept running into the dude I'm supposed to interrogate, but I kept failing because I couldn't find the fucking one costume I needed until I eventually found it. Um, yeah, like the, that's basically where the complexity starts and ends. Uh, there are some boss fights, but they're pretty, they're pretty easy to cheese. Um, I'll conclude by adding one of the reasons that golden. I was so loved was that they added multiplayer and there isn't really much of any multiplayer here. I'm not sure how well that would turn out, and I don't know if the guy can actually do good network code, but still, it would have, would have been nice to have like some kind of lip service to it, or at least, and may, maybe there is an odd job boss near the end. I just haven't gotten that far. I'm going to give it two cheers. All right. So as Jordan brought up, uh, yeah, pink eyes. Got two, not one, two graphical options. You got the window in full screen, and your other graphical option is on and off and over here on Debian testing with a 3060 1920X AMD powered 32 gigajoules of RAM. This graphical juggernaut really pushes that old 3060, especially in that first upstairs hallway where I read all the way down and the NPCs read out, got a little bit chuggy. Speaking of audio, the guns go pew. And there's something resembling background music, background noise, but it's not often that I play a game and review it for this show that I could crank out with my limited game dev experience it's not often it. here we are and if you haven't figured it out yet pink eye what is it i mean it's a funny it's a funny joke game haha ha, edgy game it reminds me like the mods we used to make back in the 90s and yes i was there so get off my lawn thing is taking a jab at golden eye on the n64 mm, it's n64 it's golden eye I, I was there that game came out a year after quake more importantly, it came out a year after Geo Quake. I was busy playing Quake with my Voodoo One at 800 by 600, 60 FPS on my glorious PC gaming rig. So you know what? 
when GoldenEye came out, <laughs> rocking an amazing 240p at 11 FPS. I'm not making that up. Go look it up. I wasn't exactly impressed, but what I'm trying to communicate is I have fuck all nostalgia for this nonsense. And that said, I do enjoy an intentionally janky game because there's something about an experienced developer recreating a suboptimal experience. Hmm. Operation Pink Eye is the byproduct of an inexperienced developer recreating a suboptical, suboptimal experience, and the results are kind of predictable. You might like them, you might not. But going back to GoldenEye, because this is what this is lifting off of, like real heavily, you know, that was the game that brought first person action to the console, taking advantage of that newfangled control stick from Nintendo, right? TM. And Operation Pink Eye really doesn't bother acknowledging the existence of controllers, but it somehow kind of works with one by accident. I use Max Clone 360. Some things kind of moved around. If It rumbles. Yeah, it, it does rumble. You can kind of move around with it, and some things will move things. I couldn't figure out how to interact with anything. But if you have the nostalgia, if you get those feels for that N64-era shooty pew-pew, you damn well plan on maximizing that experience with, you guessed it, a controller, not a keeps and mouse. That damn near falls into, like, you had one job with this category, man. Like, make it work really well with all of the controllers, the PlayStations, the Xbox, or you can pick it up and play and be like, ooh, man, it's hitting me right in those nostalgia organs or glands. I think they're glands in 2020. Playing this with a keyboard and mouse has the same feels as playing a modern Tomb Raider with a keyboard and mouse, and that feeling, that feeling's cheating is what it fucking feels like, because you're just murdering everything, wiping the floor with it. Maybe if I'd put it in extra fuck you mode like Pedro did in the video with that snap thing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I mean, this is a fuck around project, and it's not without its charm. It was uh, definitely, uh, do you think it was using physics and all the destructible environments when things kind of would fall over sometimes? Did you throw a grenade at anything and just see what would blow up? That was entertaining, and also the doge rolls from the NPCs, <laughs> fucking hilarious. I don't know if you went out of your way to make that happen. If you did, you get bonus points, but that was just like, what the, oh, if you wanted to help them. <laughs> it's like, are you hurt? <laughs> but you know what? We're talking like a two hour experience price at 1099. I would probably suggest go out and just go buy two copies of Empire Survivors, man. Um, but that I mean- give you more than two hours. <laughs> wait, wait for it to go on sale if you really want Yeah, it. it's like two. Gentlemen, what? <sighs> I mean, I, I, uh, Pedro brought it up in the in between segments, but yeah, like this oh. game is actually really small, like yeah, actually yeah. N sixty four size. It is well. megabytes. <laughs> you ship the debug build on Linux, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, so it would, it would probably, probably actually it be smaller. smaller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could probably shave off a few k on that. It it's big, it's empty, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I really wish there was just more stuff in the maps. I guess the, this is like a one person thing. But like, yeah, the, the, the boat is like the clear the clear uh, indicator of that. Like you mm -hmm. have this big boat in the background. There's like a clear, clear set of steps. Why isn't that part of the level? That seems like something of an oversight. Otherwise, why would you include it? And I, th yeah, and I, I guess I really like, thought that that's where the mission was. It's like, OK, so that's the last thing I'm going to do. But no. <laughs> Yeah. See, and, I want and, to go and, back now to what you were saying, Jordan. You want multiplayer, which I agree with. You could do multiplayer, but only if it forces it into a 640 by 480 size window that you cannot resize. Right. I, I was I was just gonna say that um like maybe 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 the level design stuff is just b the byproduct of like an an inexperienced game designer. So and I, and I think like ma For maybe all that I know it could be. I, I just assumed the Golden Eye level stuff had more to it. This reminds you know what this reminds us of? COD what? of Duty. Call of Duty, yes. a shoot, shooting fish the in a barrel. Joke game. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Now, here's here's something I'm curious about. What does GoldenEye look like on um, like an emulator? You know, with high res tech, not high res texture, but a high res resolution, like up upscaled, yeah. AI, AI cleaned up. I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. Mm. Send us some hate mail if you. Yeah, I'm shame. Like a we'll get never find that out. Too bad. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well. I think that about does it for the chairquisition. Coming up next, I like turtles. Yeah, yeah, I can sort of see what um, is coming down the pipeline, especially milk? with us. Uh, well, also, but no. My, just, my milk? <laughs> are we going to churn out some hate now? <laughs> I'm just going to say uh, that you uh, if you want to see Jordan lactating, there's an OnlyFans for that. Oh, that's Not a really, but there should be. Yeah. <laughs> it really gets my grits. 
gonna get, well, yeah. gonna curdle the I, mood I, here i am out of dairy buns immediately i didn't have much money <laughs> I, so. I, I, i'm dairy sorry for you okay yeah, no, I, I don't hit the cow squeeze quite as much as I used to. But hey, if you do, and if you'd like to share that with us, you absolutely can. I don't think any of us are lactose intolerant. So uh, I am. Gamecast. I probably com. am. I'm not going to find out. <laughs> I got to eat a shit ton of lactate. <laughs> and uh, you can click the contact button Says and tell us I about your own lactose <laughs> intolerance. Uh, Maybe in pirate speak. Why not? Just make sure you read the caveats at the top, especially if you'd like us to have a look at your project. <laughs> you're yar, 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 yeah, do it, do yar, it. I ate some cheese and now my asshole's Here's on your, fire. Do not, under any circumstances, attempt to milk a pirate. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. You should you, try to milk every pirate. That's how you get I, pirate friends. That, yeah, that's how you get pirate cheese. <laughs> that's how you get Velcro to a plank, man. <laughs> All right, let, 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 let's let's talk about our first beat. The hate mail from Doug. It's about Mastodon. Okay. It says so, so. See, you're not letting people into the Mastodon server. I thought about it being a Patreon perk. Mastodon so hot right now. How many of you have run off to create a Mastodon account? I, I mean, I already have the one that I don't use. <laughs> Yeah, so, 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 yeah, uh, the the C- Cibic, who is the lovely human who administers our our, our mm-hmm. Mastodon server, Mastodon.com, is like, yeah, it's getting a little pricey. Can I start deleting stuff? And we're like, probably. Shrug about it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you, to communicate, uh, we don't run our Mastodon server. We're merely participants in it. So mm-hmm. we, the, the, the guy who ported Skullgirl to Linux runs our Mastodon yes. server. Yep. No as, joke. As one and does. Indivisible. Yeah. And, and indivisible, <laughs> yes. Um contact Civic and ask Civic and be like, hey, can I get in the Mastodon server? And he'll be like, I don't know. Pay, pay, pay. Yeah, you got you gotta pay him now. He's yeah. the one who has to worry about those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ask him for his like, Patreon. <laughs> slide him like twenty quid or something like that. Maybe like boom, whatever. Yeah. Um Yeah, but I mean our Mastodon instance was open for years so yes. it's not like oh no we're it is just like it's a good thing it got tightened up before the wave hit because a lot of mastodon instances has just been smoldering craters and which yeah. is a shame which is a shame because i want to run, run out and tell everyone everybody who's running my don't spend the money buying big servers because it's just a blip people are going to go back and or to, there's gonna there's gonna be a new thing that everyone's gonna migrate yeah. to or yeah Later. Or everyone's finally going to go to TikTok and join all the kids, and then the kids will go on to something else. I mean, Mas- I like the idea of Mastodon <laughs> Provence. Mastodon's yeah, why I don't recommend having like uh, desktop managers on Linux that try to like look like Windows, because Mastodon looks enough like Twitter where you expect that shit to work like Twitter, and it fucking mm-hmm. don't. Mm, yeah, that's, I, and I think I think that's that's one 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 of several hurdles that Mastodon as like a platform has to overcome is mm-hmm. like it, See, it is na- it is now bring, the we're going to bring G plus Twitter. into that. You knew we were going to fucking get G plus. Well, yeah, this this, this, this this entire podcast is just three people lamenting about the loss of Pissed G plus. Off about yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. never forget, baby. Fuck G- you, Google. G- G- All plus. the things you killed, don't care. Stadia, don't give a shit. G plus. Dude, uh, but here, one of the reasons it was so fucking out of left field different, like you had to learn it. You didn't have any preconceived notions other than I can put some shit in a text box, but where do we go after there? How do we form? Right. Mastodon. Fe- fe- like, federated timelines. Yeah. yeah like uh, the, the, the Fediverse having to pick a server, which like realistically isn't that big a deal, but it does affect some stuff. And if, if lay people aren't oh, going to get dude. that. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. def- it definitely affects that poor bastard who's the first Google research, uh, search when you uh, search yeah. uh, how to join mass and whatever federated server that is. Like, ouch, ouch, yeah. would one be paying for that? <laughs> um, we talked about turtles. Yes. And, you know, we do that sometimes. You know, we're, we, we, we like our reptilian brothers and sisters and overlords. <laughs> Yeah, right? His, his, and uh, Snake Jazz, baby. Snake Jazz, big fan. Uh, we definitely brought up scientifically accurate DuckTales. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, scientifically accurate Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And I do believe on more than one occasion, we dared mention Turtles. And <laughs> Oh, is this the part of the podcast where we talk about turtle dicks? Oh, god damn it. Um, <laughs> Synthor writes in, I couldn't help 
singing along. Fortunately, I was only driving at the time, scientifically accurate Ninja Turtles. And also, their shells bleed. Turtle they, uh, it's, it's, it's they live in the human sewer. That means they are bathed in feces. Also, their shells mm-hmm. bleed. Turtle power. <laughs> turtle power. <laughs> We talked a little bit about the um, origin story of this bit of hate mail from which showed up in our hate mail inbox. Somebody wrote it in. So uh, we have to assume somebody was listening to uh, what, Synthor, Chintor. Um, mm-hmm. You could be like Thor of Chin. It could, it could be, be like, J- J- it's just Jay Leno's head like superimposed on Chris Hemsworth's body. That's what I'm going to imagine. Okay. All right. It, it could be uh, Mega Chad. Uh, but here's the thing. Well, we have like um, 534 episodes, like, we got all the back <laughs> you could be listening like because i know however old that video is is how long we've been bringing up turtle dicks man um <laughs> it's a, it's, it was back when we were just part of the show was actually just watching other youtube videos on Dude, Twitch. right so like seven eight years ago but yeah, yeah they're always throwing a show number for us if you if you just please because out of our curiosity because we're like what the fuck were we up to <laughs> yeah which episode was that for and what was the context because right. you just listened to remember it remember for dude. us was like months ago i barely <laughs> what, remember what i said at the beginning of this fucking episode Jordan, a Jordan week Swain, later here yeah. is the app I, I will be editing this tomorrow and i will have <laughs> at least three moments going really we did that huh all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't remember that. Huh. Like, all right. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like I said, I can barely remember what I've done today, let alone oh, like a week it, ago or it's a year like ago. Because yeah. I always try to like find a little like odd ball bit, like right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a little, a little stinger, yeah. a little eye catch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have no idea where to start. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> One day, less than like six hours later, my brain's like, oh, so just watch it, just watch it again, man. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> And we enjoy you watching us again and again and again until it's a crippling addiction. Um, we thoroughly support that. But on that malvertisement, we're going to bring up the music. You can always get a hold of me on the uh, Tesla Roddy Twitter at Finstone. I'm doing things there, chilling out, because that's where I went after they killed Google+. Plus. But I do have a um, Mastodon account. I'm at Ven at mass.linuxemcast.com. I am always available for chits and or chats on our IRC. Or you can join our like super secret Discord if you're a tw- Twitch sub or a patron. Come on. A, a Twatreon? A Twatreon. A lot of people are both, man. <laughs> they got like backup plans, man. I'm like, what are you up to? It's kind of brilliant. That's where we're hanging a out Twitch. the other six days of the week. Yeah, I, I don't know what my Mastodon is. I should probably look that up because it's probably going to be important in a while. I'm Jordan, though. You can find me on Twitter at BurningFool or Twitch, twitch.tv slash BurningFool. I really got to stream at some point. That account's been collecting dust. I don't know. I have no time. <laughs> you think your account's been collecting dust? Uh, I Yes, you can find me on ElonNet at an account at four. Uh, the... That's F O U R. You got to spell it out. And on are, Mastodon, are, did, did you pay uh, uh, eight bucks for the verification? No. Are you officially Pedro? <laughs> no. This is bullshit, Ooh. Elon. Okay, the check marks don't work Someone until can I can pay gift eight them. bucks yes. and call themselves Pedro Mateos for all I care. <laughs> the real Pedro Mateos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, no. On Mastodon, it's Dude. unaccounted with the actual number for at Mastodon. Dude, you could finally account. reclaim the Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could. But I don't want to. But I mean, you could also play Bloodborne. <laughs> well, we would know about that. All right. All right. Time for some credits. Roll them, baby. Well, we fit under the seats conveniently, though, so it's all right. You can Bitch, take us on you the know plane. we bite. We're foldable. You can fit us in the seats. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say we're not going to bite you while we're under there. <laughs> all right. Well, we got to thank our advisors. We got Might our Aaron and Omega. You can't bring those on the plane. Got to thank our executive producers: Barbara, Scott, Michel, <laughs> Dustin, Mike, 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 Drummer, Kohaku, Yours, Pebble, Tomaj, and Unoid. Would the TSA let you on with hooks? I sad pirate noises. I don't know. Abstraction and uh, Super Death Stoat as uh, Chicago kicks butt. And uh, Sea Monsters, Renault, uh, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin Frostclaw, Novin, David, Darkwing, System, T, and Dunzing Joe. We got Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, Chad B, Romeo, Marson, Doom 2. Wad, Smash G, Renee, Leonardo, Dacris, Benjamin, uh, Steve B, Dirty Deed, Back, Gamotron, Dodgers, Zenthris, 
Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Stein, Mr. Fox Dog, Spine, Oil of Hope, and Yalud. Yalud, I Now we're going to name out a few of our beautiful party chairlings. Joel, Evandro, Greg, Zeno, Craig, Gronk, Nalanka, Joy, Ogi Wan, D Spec Burlick is spelled Burlick. <laughs> Fine upstanding cannibals. Lick that is the studio. Carl Mike Earth here in Linux New World is a Noctilus, Johnny Shep, Game underscore Motron, and you know it. Uh, yeah, and you know it. You know it. Don't let pirates <laughs> fly. If you see a pirate, he's going to get enhanced. Pirates if you see him. a flying pirate, run. <laughs> do, do, do pirates fly by flapping their hooks? Flapping. Max. Flapping. Flapping. And thank but you, PT Dave, by, just by, getting by in at the last minute with a 13 months uh, resub. Thank sad, you. Sad <laughs> please, please, please don't let yourself be fluffed by a hook. You'll, you'll just end badly, Elf. Yeah. Dying yeah. fire, everybody. Ah. Disneyland! Five dudes. <laughs>